I'm sure that you're familiar with the concept of stacking paper rims and random books in order to elevate your display to desired height. As practical as it is, it never looks good. In this video, I'm building a monitor stand which also doubles as a computer case for a mini ITX system with a discrete GPU. Let's briefly go over the design. The stand will be made of Sprouse wood, which is cheap and quite soft, so easier to work with. It will be a little over 50 cm wide, 30 cm deep and about 14 cm high. The components will lay flat in the drawer. The list includes a mini ITX motherboard, a 65 watts TDP Intel Core i5 CPU, a Zodiac GTX 1050, all powered by the HD Plex 300 watts power supply. This little guy is a very well engineered piece of electronics. It measures only 15 by 5 cm. It can power a GTX 1070 and a Core i7 CPU without breaking a sweat, but it does require a rather hefty external brick to deliver. The CPU is cooled by a combination of the Regintec Zeros low-profile radiator and a 92mm fan, sucking the air from the bottom and pushing it towards the heatsink through a custom slash ghetto air duct. Let's get to work. I bought a large piece of wood and cut it at an angle using a circular saw. I used a piece of aluminum clamp to the wood to guide the blade. I'm not a big fan of this tool as it's very loud and pretty messy, but it gets the job done. After cutting the top piece, two side pieces and the front, I proceeded with gluing the box together. I don't have all the proper tools, so I had to improvise with clamps and whatnot. I glued in a few wooden supports to ensure that the construction won't collapse under the weight of the monitor or my cat. After the glue has settled, I filled in the cracks and left it to dry. When the filler has dried, I sanded the surface a bit and stained it. Then I moved on to fabricating the air duct. I used a square air duct pipe thingy and a 90 degrees connector that I got at the local hardware store. I removed unnecessary plastic using Dremel and cut the air duct so it's about the size of the 92mm fan. I fixed the fan using a combination of screws and hot glue and moved on to making the frame. The frame outline comprises two angle aluminum bars. I cut out a piece of metal to make a 90 degrees bend and gently model the material. Next, I cut two 25 cm long pieces and place each on either side to hold the frame together. I used rivets to bolt one to another. I cut a piece of aluminum flat bar, 3 cm wide, and attached it to the frame using rivets. That's where the mounting points for the motherboard, the CPU fan and the HD Plex power supply will be. Next, yet another similar but narrower piece of aluminum to support the other side of the cooling contraption. To mount the video card, I had to elevate it a bit, so I cut a piece of a larger angle bar and attached it to the frame. This way I didn't only raise the GPU, but also gained the missing mounting point for the motherboard. I attached a piece of square aluminum profile to have enough flat surface to fix the PCI Express riser. Then I drilled holes for the motherboard and Plex mounting points and two more on both ends of the PCI Express riser mounting piece and fixed a threaded insert in each opening. Next, I had to make two small cuts for the insets on each side of the riser. Mr. Dremel helped me sort this out. After that, I cut another piece of aluminum which will be used to sandwich the PCI Express connector. I put the threaded insert on each end of the contraption, drilled holes in the top piece for the screws and assembled the riser construction. I fabricated mounting supports for the GPU I.O. bracket, fixed it to the frame using two rivets and drilled a hole for the screw. Then, I attached the rails to the frame, again using rivets, and drilled holes for the CPU cooling fan. Next, I drilled two more holes for the SSD mounting screws. 
and then three more for the HD Plex Spy connector at the back of the frame, which I attached using the screws that came in the box. After that, I attached the complementing parts of the rails assembly to the enclosure using two screws on each side and test fitted the drawer. Then it turned out that I cut the front piece 2cm too short, as I didn't have any more wood left to cut a new one, so I improvised by cutting 4cm off to have the same area exposed on both sides and the top. I fabricated two brackets, attached them to the rails using rivets, drilled some holes and fixed the wood using two screws. Then it was high time to assemble the components. As rock motherboard, sitting on a set of standoffs made from aluminum pipe, HD Plex power supply, the Zotac video card, and SSD drive. After connecting all cables, I did a bit of wire management and made a power switch, which I attached to the frame using double sided tape, and the build was complete. The stand easily supports a 34 inch ultra wide monitor, which weighs a hefty 50 kg or so. Clean contraption does a pretty decent job, but the small radiator struggles with dissipating the heat from the 65 watts TDP Intel CPU. There's enough space for a larger heatsink though. Now, you should know that it's only a prototype that I built because I enjoy making things. Hence the missing bottom and rear covers and the lack of easily accessible USB ports. The first can be addressed with steel mesh, while the other can be fixed with a USB hub. The height is pretty much determined by the air duct and it could be 2cm smaller, but I would need a 3D printer for that. As always, there is room for improvement, but bear in mind that I don't have a proper workshop with table saw and whatnot. If you're a professional welder, carpenter or an astronaut, that's great. I'm just a regular technical writer who enjoys doing stuff with limited resources and in a rather confined environment. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.